That's, That's tough. tough. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, yeah, we about to watch uh, another playback video real quick, man. See what the fuck going on. See what they talking about. Feminist enables false abuse claims in the dumbest ways possible. Hmm. Teenage boys now, they are so terrified of the uh, consequences of putting a foot out of line. Mm. It's hard enough being a young teenager, working out how things are, working out how to do dating and all of that, without the terror that if you touch in the wrong place at the wrong time, you may find that your whole life is destroyed. See, see, and that like is that far terror. too much. Now, now what do you mean, mean by that, though? Well, I, I, I like that. As a I mother think of a teenage no, girl, I don't like <laughs> that. I do. That's the thing I've ever heard. That is I awful. think that men should be frightened I think to you touch feel women differently if you they're not Hey, women. yo! What's she going for? We're not talking about... Wow. Wow, that's... Wow. Nah, that's... that's what's what she going for, though? Wow. You know, I don't like to make assumptions wow. myself. It, but I'm glad she just was bold enough to say it. Oh, that was actually very refreshing yes, when she just said it. Because usually there's like an undertone of that, yeah, yeah, but nah, it's never fact. said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she just said it. Wow. Huh. Playback, I'm actually thrown aback by what she just said right there. I'm actually, wow. Oh, it makes me happy that she said it. Oh, Sydney, yo. Yeah. Yeah. So we can actually have real dialogue. Yes. Man, just give me a second. Wow, that was so Nah, this thing is mad funny. funny. She, I don't know why that was weird. That's, That's very weird, weird activity. activity. He's value and terror. Yes. Not nah, nah. interesting. See, this is a problem. She's, She's a tyrant, bro. Dead, Dead a tyrant. tyrant. Problem when, because, in, uh, and this is like the theme of 2022. If y'all been watching this channel all year long, you're nah, like, I don't, don't catch up on the videos. But I've consistently asked the question, who gives these people the right to be the morality police? Where they Fuck. just go around setting these rules and standards and play Yo, bro, and terror? right or wrong. And like, like fear. Try to nah. abide by that ideology. She's just handing out at bugging, bro. She's wilding out. She's losing her fucking scholastics. You end up finding Screws that loose. the same people who claim that other people take the power and they go way beyond the means and they, their, their, their decisions are no longer justified because they allow power to corrupt them, they mm. end up being corrupt by power as well. That's so right. here she is, willing to openly admit, I am happy that they're terrified. They need to be terrified. Okay. Like to not even acknowledge the damage that they could do to just having healthy relationships with one another is crazy. Like she, the fact that you don't even acknowledge that. <laughs> nah, she's you bugging. rather there be a subsection of people who are terrified to I'm interact with someone else. And you think that that's going to bridge healthy relationships with one but another? But not even like adults, though. Like kids. Yeah, these kids. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A kid these has to. Children. Youth. Let's be clear. In a, in any sort of like sexual relationship, there's a lot that's these unsaid, yeah. and the unsaid stuff is usually filled in with assumptions based Facts. on previous history. So these like kids, when it's bro, acceptable to put your hand on her leg, when it's acceptable to make the next move, when it's did, did I say the right thing here? There's so much of it that's assumed that. It, whether you got a father figure or not, bro, you got to experience a lot of this shit on your own sometimes, bro. You got to know. You got to find out the cues, figure yourself out, figure the shorty out, the vibe out, whatever the case may be, bro. So, for her to be like, you supposed to be scared, bro. Scared. Oh, yeah. Nah. I'm too scared to do this. I'm too scared. That. Niggas is going, never going to get nothing done, bro. Like, come on, bro. Be realistic. Shorty live in a fantasy world. Like, I want niggas to be scared to make a move, bro. These are children. 16, 15, whatever, bro. Hey, come on. If someone's very inexperienced, you can expect them to and just Not move in a way where like on. fuck up. It's like, oh, exactly. oh, I didn't know you were. That's the point. Oh, That's the perfect, perfect time to do it. When you're when you're young, you're gonna fuck up. That's what you're supposed to do. You're gonna fuck up. You're gonna figure it out. But for niggas to take away your experience to enable you to fuck up, you're gonna lose out on a lot of shit, bro. You mean to tell me that like a 13 year old kid, a 14 year old, 15 year old kid, they like deserve to be in terror? Because exactly. she's talking she's about her child out. here. She's like my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son that's a teen, and she's like, yeah, they need to be in terror. Yeah, but I'm not talking, talking about. about, We're talking yeah, about it's an interesting children. thing that you see. I would say that that attitude actually is part of the problem. That's too. a fact. That is to that's to me toxic femininity. It is. That is no, saying you should shit, all toxic, be terrified, whatever, whatever. you men. If you put one front, well. I, I I think we all understand what sexual what assault is. Assault? What Isabel's mm -hmm. talking about is that young teenage clumsiness really in many hard. cases, mm -hmm. which is now being recategorized as assault. Look at her, but she's a fuck. A Look at her. Categorized as assault. It's always been assault. It's just Yo. <laughs> We're finally talking about it. I don't agree it. with that. No, it's ridiculous. Teenage boy fumbling with teenage girl is not, 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 not in most cases, 
a sword, doesn't do, do you remember Grand Aziz Ansari, right? Half the heels of Me Too, half the heels of Harvey Weinstein, yeah. rightly being dragged through the courts and should have got way worse than just prison time, in my opinion. Aziz Ansari had a consensual relationship with a woman. She felt a bit awkward and yeah. afterwards rescinded consent and he was lumped oh. in and he had his No, I'm with you on that one. Cancel. I'm with so you. So then why should men be afraid of that? Because he didn't touch her without consent, did he? No, but she but rescinded how, his how consent how and how she... You... If you shop on Amazon, you should use this tool. It's a browser extension I'm not very familiar that with the, Pardon me, it'll do that. So not even... I'm not very familiar with the too much of the Harvey Weinstein shit. I know he was a sick nigga and all that. Like I seen little bits and pieces, so I ain't even gonna comment on that. I know he was wilding out here. Hey, I ain't even. I should probably go watch that though. But Listening yeah, nah, she not. I can tell. Her, her, her rebuttal. Her rebuttal was on some shit like, eh, fuck out of here. Oh, I'm wilding. <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. We ain't talking about that right now. Part about Damn. it because at the end of the day, the thing that really bothers me with a lot of these conversations is also out of one, like as as a man speaking from a man in this world, That's the only perspective there's a handful I would think of things from. us as men know almost universally. Mm -hmm. One of which is not to physically harm, even in a sexual manner, women and children. Facts. We know that. We know that. Like that's a thing that we know. Now, does everybody exercise that? Of course not, because unfortunately we have some sick niggas. Sick fucking world we live in, gang. Out here, but we all know that. So this idea that it needs to be just pounded in our head so much so that we fear interactions with women is crazy. That is absurd. That's banal thinking. Excuse me. That's banal thinking, bro. That's a sick way to think about this shit, bro. Life is you're meant to experience shit with other people in life, bro. You're not supposed to be alone. Like I know people be was it introverts or some shit like that. Basically, whenever you just be by yourself, but even to a certain degree, bro, you have to have a some form of physical connection, or 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 like some kind of relationship with the outside world or with your people, bro. That's just how this shit go. <laughs> it's like this is how it is. It's healthy, bro. It's all right to be submerged by yourself sometimes, but it's also very healthy to keep those connections and those interactions with outside beings other than your, even your family sometimes, bro. It's healthy, bro. It's good for you. <laughs> if I go across, if I, I can meet a man I've never seen a day in my life, and he and I will both know mm -hmm. the, un, the, the underlining consensus in this world about how we are supposed to treat um, women and children in those circumstances. Facts. So for her to act as if like, yeah, I, I, yeah. Or at least I would assume oh, yeah, so. That, that, they need, that needs to happen. Because I just don't, I don't think they understand what's really going on. So even if she reconsents, it's like resends it. Like, what are we talking about right now? How do you rescind consent? Just think about yeah, that, is, that in any other context. You sign a contract. Yo, the way the world is going, I ain't going to lie, bro. Being able to, not being able to, but rescinding consent, bro. Like, at one point being like, you with it, and then you just like, a week on, a week later, a few days later, or whatever amount of time later, you like, Nah, I really wasn't. It's like, yo, bro, that's... We redefine this shit as we go along. Like, I feel like shit is just... I don't know, like... Niggas is making shit up as they go now. Like, it's like we live in a politically correct kind of world. And literally, bro, that's not how this shit is. Realistically, that's not how the world works. But that's what they trying to go for. Ah... Mm -hmm. You decide the next day you didn't want to sign it, but now it's legally binding. You can't rescind it. You can't even do that with a marriage. Like any mm -hmm. other time you're giving your consent for anything, you can't rescind it without some form of amendment, right? But that amendment has to be signed by both parties. You can't just regret it after the fact and then make someone else responsible for the, the hurts you're feeling. Instead... Yo, 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 stop speaking logic. <laughs> Stop speaking logic, my boy. You should just be, you should be in tune with yourself. Know when the fuck you want to and don't want to do something. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. To a certain degree, I agree. When you're 15, 16, sometimes shit flimsy. So shit's up in the air sometimes. So, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, at least be more than like, leaning, lean more towards something that you want, that you want to do versus being like on the 50, 50. If you're going, if with certain things, like you'd be 50, 50 and go for some shit, but with certain shit, like, Getting into a relationship and shit like that, bro. You kind of got to be more more certain than not. Because you don't want, like... It's, it's a sticky situation, my nigga. Word. Like, and if not, you're worried about, like, maybe, don't, don't do, it. do it. Yeah. Don't do it. And if there you're a go. guy and she looks like a maybe, don't do 
don't do it. Don't do it. Facts. It's not worth the bullshit that can come after it, bro. Spit, yeah, talk talk man, your like, shit, yeah, bro. As, as Word. Like there, we, I can definitely um, sympathize with you and understand where you live in a world where you may be pressured to do certain things that you don't want to do in uh -huh. those interactions. But at the end of the day, until you feel confident about who you are mm -hmm. sexually mm -hmm. wise, you should not be presenting yourself in that manner to put yourself in a situation where you're fumbling back and forth with consent so much Facts. so where even after the act, you may feel comfortable enough to take it back. Because Facts. at that point, everybody's at risk. Yeah, Three sons in their 20s. <laughs> I've always taught them to be respectful to women. I, I believe they are. But I do think it's really hard for a 16, 17 year old boy now in this environment Hell to yeah. know even how Yo, to shit, shit is hard for a nigga that's in the early 20s, bro. Like the way that I ain't going to violate on no, uh, no set groups or no shit like that. I'm not here for that. But the way that the the dating rent, the dating world is is like going, bro. Is very, you gotta be very careful, my nigga. Like you really gotta be very careful on how you maneuver through all of these this minefield out here, cause shit is just they making shit up as they go along. That's the best example I can like. Prime example of the consent shit, bro. You can rescind consent. It's crazy, bro. Like what you mean? I like, what shit wasn't forced before now all of a sudden. You stay to yourself, my nigga. Not stay to yourself. I'm saying that, but like, you lock in with a girl. You don't be out here wilding out with multiple joints, cause at any given moment, shit could get real sticky icky for you, my nigga. They are all having terrified. kind of some kind of physical relationship with a woman. Those good boys are all terrified. I know that from talking to my son. He's just like, I'm just not going there. Is that healthy? Yes, I the think it point. is actually. I think it's better to. Yo, <laughs> bro. Yo, she's a menace, bro. She's a menace. Who is this girl? She what is what the what what is she like supporting, bro? Not have a physical relationship than to have one that could ruin a woman's life. But then, how do they ever start? Well, don't if you're not hundred percent sure. Don't. What are we going to what? What have? A bunch of new boys who but never it's had. So that's like saying that's bro. like she's that's like the equivalent of saying Marcel, let's bring it to basketball. Don't even take the shot if you're not 100% sure you're not going to... Nah, gonna fuck successful. that. Fuck that. That's like saying... That's like saying, yo... It's, 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 it's murderers and killers out here. You know what? I ain't going to say that. Well, you you never take drive? it to, a, to another thing. Driving a car. Don't don't drive a car unless you're 100% sure that you're able to, like, you're constantly able like, no, bro. I'm about to say some bullshit. Like, I was going to have to re... I was going to fix what I said, but that's a perfect example, bro. Like... You do not know the outcome, 100, 110%. You don't, bro. So it's like, in a, in a, in a, in a, she lives like in this safe dome or this ideal world that just doesn't exist, bro. That's the vibe she's giving me and she's pissing me off. This is not the real world. Like, yes, we want the, that ideal world that she's going for, cool, but that's not it, bro. It's not it. You have to do it, bro. It's a thing to navigate, and everyone exactly like, oh first got to figure this shit out. We all had not to. Quite sure what the right. And that's what anything, bro. That's what anything. You have to figure all this shit out. Sometimes you got guidance. Sometimes you don't, bro. Sometimes you have previous experiences. Sometimes you don't. You have to go through the shit to get the experience to have the knowledge to navigate, bro. Like, come on, son. She on some whole other shit, bro. I don't. I'm not niggas. Is not jacking out. This is also from a perspective of somebody who doesn't want to be sympathetic or empathetic True. Uh, to the other side as well. Uh, like not even acknowledging as she a definitely man. Definitely didn't acknowledge none of them. in a society where men are expected to take the first step in the interactions of any type of encounter. That's another with women. good point, so gang. With that, especially when you're dealing in this environment, yes. How the hell is he supposed to know? <laughs> but you don't even. You don't even. You're not even willing to listen so, to. So the give them the benefit of the doubt or that's help crazy. them navigate this shit. Yeah, she's removing all human elements and yeah. emotions. Bro. All, all of that is... Bro. 100%. Just wait, 100%. Niggas is that's supposed to be perfection in eyes. Like, it seems like the joints can do no wrong. Niggas have to be super perfect to even interact with a joint. Like, bro, what the... What are we doing, son? What are, what are these... Not limitations. What are, what are these stigmas or... 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 Or, or, or this, 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 like... This shit you, you, you put it on men. Like, come on, bro. Like, niggas is not gonna... Men are, is, are not 100% perfect, bro. Nobody is, bro. So for you to sit up here and act like they are, you lose it. Like, you, you already... You, my fault. You already fucking up the... The situation with that, bro. That doesn't... You're going in with that mindset. When is that ever... Actually, you know what? Nigga, I'm almost 30. That still don't exist, yeah. nigga. Yeah. 
<laughs> when did that ever exist? Mm. It only exists if you're oh, in me a relationship for oh, a single shit. period of time. But even then, it don't, it don't, a hundred percent is crazy. It's never been. How often has it been where you and your partner a hundred percent on the same? Yeah, we fucking tonight. How, how often does that happen? I'm talking about like at, at five at five p.m. You know, yeah, when you get about nine, nine o'clock ish, we both fucking tonight. How often does that happen? Well, unless, like, unless it's a long term relationship. Like, like 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 yeah, I'm not gonna schedule. You know what I'm saying? Like, we both know we in the mood, gonna get to that point by the end of the night type Yeah, that's a good thing. That don't happen, nigga. 10 p.m., be in bed. Yeah. No clothes. Because I know for a fact, I know where this night is going right now. He you know it too. All right, so we both here. We both locked on. She do have that Gen Z. You gotta pop that, um, that blue pill. He's like, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? saying? Get, get here by that time. Pill she done that set in, you are we we get fully active. He is having far less sexual relationships yes. than Yo, I'm, I'm not, not gonna lie, she already looked look like it's true. And young people on. have stopped having sex. I agree with the first part of your sentence, actually. If you're not willing to have She's a having sexual too relationship, much fun, clearly though. defined lines don't have one. And so I actually told my my mates at university, don't sleep around with girls. One, girls don't bring a guy home that you don't know what he's capable of. Two, guys, don't bring a girl home if you think that possibly she could have a false accusation against you. Yo, yo, yo bro. He, he was kind of cool at first. He's not making no sense, bro. How do you know that? <laughs> How do you know that? Be real, bro. Yeah, we're, we're human beings, bro. Nobody knows. Like, okay, she looked like she half. I mean, you can't possibly sometimes maybe because you may have like a, a background or history of doing some shit like that. But, bro, you don't know till you know, bro. Until that shit pop up and it happened, bro, you don't really know, bro. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? Who are fortune tellers? I know you you can't tell that, but look can't at her. Know her no she's like, like, pawn, like, again, all this in theory sounds great. How it's not realistic, bro. These They living in a fantasy world, bro. This shit is not real. How the fuck are you supposed to know not, someone's gonna lie? You don't, you're not, you don't know that. Nigga, people be in business for like two decades together and get bamboozled. Niggas be in 30 decade million relationships decades, oh. find out she cheated. I just hate How are you supposed to know? I just hate the concept in which these people are living because like How everything they're saying sounds so fucking inexperienced. In theory, yeah, they exactly. sound like virgins right now. Nah, facts. They, they sound like people who never actually experienced. You not you don't know. You trusted her with you. Change the channel hey, right now enough, for live auction action on channel 94, not based on 223, and 277. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit is not based on real life experience, bro. This is based on some movie-like shit, some dream state, some ideal world shit. Bro, it does not happen, bro. It's not happening, bro. It's not happening like that in some movie shit. I'm it. How are you it. supposed to know? No, you never and this is someone know, you love? Bro. How are you supposed to know, bro? Don't you don't know, bro. know. You, you, you find out. That's how you know. know. <laughs> when it happens, <laughs> that's, that's when you know. Like, oh, I can't trust this bitch. Giving to you. Now, you could have said something like, have, have some framework in place so that you're not just bringing anyone into your Facts. life. There's no way to know. There's no, 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 no way to find a fake act. Who the fuck would know and still do it? Women women are trying their hardest not to come across as like, you know, as fast, risque, and sluts. And men are trying to come across as somebody who's not a fucking loser who can't get no pussy. Like that, that's that's really what it comes down to, bro. That's and so now everybody's like that's the day he just summed up the day world now, bro. In 2022, young man, young woman, this that's that's what's going on, bro. <laughs> fucking playing Shit, no more playing chess with <laughs> one another all night long, trying to make sure they make the right fucking move. She knows she wants to fuck, but she can't do it can't off do the rails. Gotta yeah. watch a TV show first, yeah. and then get a little close oh, and watch another yeah. episode. We, we gonna have to do Netflix first because I ain't gonna give it up too quick. But then you gotta say some shit like, "Damn, it's late. You can drive back yeah. now. Just and, stay tonight." And, 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 and then they gotta. Yo, they know the fuck. Uh, up, this like, is this is what experience looks like, bro. They went. This is this has happened. Either to them or somebody around them. This is this is pretty much the experience, bro. Come on, yeah, this how you f- over for the day now, I eat, bro. This is how you figure shit out, bro. He trying, he think I'm gonna, he think I'm gonna give it up soon. Nah, 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 not that quick. I'm gonna get over there though, but not that quick. <laughs> like, nigga, what are we doing, bro? Can I make another point here? Which, which I, I find, I mean, look, that sentence to me. When I was your age, right? How old are you? Uh, 23. 23. No, when I was your age, the idea you would even have that even look thought process Yeah, would I wouldn't be have those sort of mates that would ever cross the no, line. So I wouldn't have to have no, that conversation I never said with mates. any of my friends. Don't, don't throw my mates in with a bunch of violent people. And is there, a, is, there a certain, <laughs> is there a certain purity uh, here? Of nah, that's a fact. A certain type of like, she's a nun. Like, all the joints or anybody, like, sh- niggas, they nuns, and niggas are supposed to be at Niggas is on the pedestal up here, bro. We at we at God's knees, like how perfect we supposed to be. 
feminist who thinks that they're all unimpeachable and that this is all one-way wait, traffic wait, wait, wait. and that only oh. men can be toxic. No, I Because I've, I've got to enlighten you. I've met quite a few women in my life who are pretty toxic themselves. Oh, and I don't see the debate being framed around that at all. No, but nope. the point is, is that we're still in a situation where only 5% of rape cases actually even go to trial. Which is ridiculous. But that's right. the extreme but, end of it. Yeah. Yeah. The idea, You're talking about but I'm rape talking here. About but David, we can all agree that's wrong. Yep. We can all agree that's wrong. But, Okay, so even on the extreme end of it, rape doesn't even go to trial. If, you, if you're assaulted, and that is life-changing. Yeah. What happened to Rose McGowan yeah. with Harvey Weinstein? I know Rose well. Was yeah, life-changing, and things. she didn't get her come up. Yeah, but Ava, we'd all agree career. about that. Well, yeah. I think what, what has sent a shudder through all of our spines from your mouth today <laughs> is the line that yeah. all young men should be terrified of any of physical contact. Someone. Well, no, you didn't say it like didn't that. Say that. It's no, basically it of, 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 of starting any physical contact and with a woman. Unless you're sure. And well, how does that Oh, well, she gave me tape, bro. So no, can you sure know when she can rescind consent on something completely nebulous? Okay, can I ask you this? If yes. you were going to go, if you were going to take someone to bed and you weren't a hundred percent sure that they wanted to go to bed with you, yes. would you go? No, with them? I would not do that. Then but the point was, Aziz about. Ansari was sure, for example, and then later she went and published a long piece right. as she regretted it and lumped him in with Harvey Weinstein. I mean, is a that, a okay? that is a crazy, that is a crazy accusation. Like based off the, the the little bit of shit I know about Harvey, to be compared. So that nigga is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Oh, do you feel you. any of it, Ava, has gone too far? Do you think the pendulum has hell gone no, too far? Hell no, she doesn't think that. No, no, no I, I don't. don't. She doesn't. She's the one pushing the pendulum. Say, what the hell? She's the pendulum She's pusher. That she is a tyrant, wrong. bro. She got too much power, bro. She's a tyrant. She's going to violate. She's going to abuse her power to the obscene max. She is as far as she could go with this shit, bro. Come on, she don't care about no pen, bro. She's trying to move the whole board. <laughs> what are you talking about? Further, we need to go further. Sixteen-year-old should be afraid to interact with women. Right, what? Your girls who are not a hundred percent sure, nigga. Nigga, come on, bro. Wait, come on. Nobody at sixteen was a hundred percent sure about anything, nigga. Nah, I ain't know what the fuck I was gonna wear to school the next day when I was sixteen. <laughs> let alone how I was gonna get some pussy, nigga. What are we talking about, bro? What are we? Man, I, I wasn't sure about the multiple choice question nah, that on, on the quiz. <laughs> what are we talking about, bro? Yeah, bro, she lives in her head, and in her head, this shit makes sense, but she doesn't live in real life, and she doesn't care about the people that these words are going to impact at no, all. The, the, the oh, adolescents, the youth, man. niggas yeah, is not thinking about mom, that at all. And you're, I hope oh, she don't got kids. Have, if you are a I'm not that kind of person, but just, like, the rhetoric she's spewing, maybe this is just for, I don't know, to open the dialogue or the conversation or push the... You know what I'm saying? Push this narrative forward or whatever the case may be, bro. She don't got kids because she's spewing this shit to them, bro. They're fucked. <laughs> they are fucked. Oh, man. And this is the rhetoric that she's teaching you. That are. You will, you will immediately start to realize, especially when you go out to college, that she just grow up. No Fuck just going like off to college. How dating interactions work with a man. Bro, she we, has literally none. We all agree with her on the fucking extreme case. She's making. But everybody. Mm -hmm. But we agree when she says rape. We're like, obviously. Yeah, obviously. There, yeah, of, yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Facts. of course. No one is going to disagree with you. Assault. Stop. Stop. Don't do it. If you're not sure that you don't have consent, don't do the shit. That's if a fact. you don't have consent, don't do the thing. But, she, but she's fact, believing bro. that again. And I, I don't know why some women do this. They act as if like men aren't already taught those things. So when these when these clumsy, mistaken mm. um, situations, I just occur, feel as though they be lumping all men in the with the the extreme cases. I think that and that be the problem, bro. Niggas need to stop doing that shit. It's occurring with the man already being cautious of how he's moving. He's already nine times in ten. He's probably already being cautious of what he is doing, and it still ended up in this clumsy mistake that he didn't even mean to make. That's that's what's really happening. We gonna make sure that you you make a step like, all right, cool. Is that cool? All right, cool. Okay, all right, cool. All right, cool. All right, cool. I put my hand right here. Oh, then she moved her leg. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> reset now. It's chess, bro. <laughs> chess, not yeah, checkers. I might, I might have to take take a couple steps back real quick. Facts, Damn. bro. Nigga, we nigga. That's that's how men think. As a man, if I put my hand on a woman's leg, and I'm thinking we cool, and she moves her leg, even if even if she didn't mean to. I mean, moving as well. Like, damn, I guess they. Wait, that's not the vibe right now. Oh God, right, that's not the vibe. Let me chill that's out it. for a second. Damn, let me chill you out. You gotta for a second. really damn. navigate this shit. Take bro. this shit. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think we're far bro. enough, actually. Really? But I still. I don't think we've brought anything into school. To your point, we haven't brought any. I don't know what she said. Hold on. Nigga, we nigga. That's that's how men think. As a man, if I put my hand on a woman's leg, 
and I'm thinking we cool, and she moves her leg, even if even if she didn't mean to, I mean, moving thinking myself like, damn, I guess they, we, that's not the vibe right now. All right, that's not the vibe. Let me chill out for a second. Damn, let me chill out for a second. Damn. Immediately, bro. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think it's gone far enough, actually. Really? I still, I don't think we've brought anything into schools. Anyway. To your point, we haven't brought any teaching into school about what is assault, what isn't. Mm. If you're worried about like 16-year-old boys not understanding what it is, bring in sexual health lessons. Hang teach on. it. The idea, sorry, the idea that you can teach rapists not to rape is insane because they already yeah. know. What do you mean? That it's illegal. Okay, right. You're saying if boys wouldn't know what's assault and what isn't. Yeah. Right? Okay. The idea that rather than um, taking the power out of someone who can make a false accusation is what they're actually, most of them are concerned about. Specifically, my friends, for example, who would never dream of doing something like that. But then what the feminists fail to understand is you can educate the evils. Hi, dropshippers. It's time to focus on what you do best. So go to Wix. Did you yes, know you, the feminist. You're a feminist. Yeah. Same way they called him the conservative. They put you in a fucking group. You, but, in a you, box. But, she, but she is a feminist. I don't know why she's. I don't know why the fuck that, that triggered you. you know. Out of all the things that's been said today, yeah, that, that seemed the trigger word. This is a toxic feminist, I ain't gonna it's lie. Insane, man. After the shit you just said about his friends. Identify yourself. Called him rapist almost. No, basically. I didn't actually. Oh, okay, Pierce sorry. Pierce you're not a feminist. So then that's... But, but Piers labeled me. Actually, I called you a okay. toxic feminist. <laughs> okay, then if that's my I'll take that. <laughs> that's yeah, cool. Cool. Fair enough. Now you are. You that cannot, it, if a rapist is willing to violate the law so violently, you cannot teach him out of that. All you can have is very harsh punishments to deter No, yeah, because that. you're talking about the grey line, and the grey line is that parties of not understanding that when... Oh, no, rape no is grey line there. <laughs> Yo, she is retarded, bro. Retarded. Grey line with rape, there's no such thing. It's no such thing, bro. It's rape or it's not. It's no gray line. There's no in between. Who knows not to do it? There's no that's gray. What she, that's what she doesn't. She thinks that men are not taught those things. I, I'm telling she thinks you. The issue is as simple you. as that's like. That's what I'm saying, bro. They redefining a lot of this shit, bro, and it's fucking, it's fucking shit up, bro. No, not to do yes, that. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Just like, just like how the niggas know not to kill, niggas know not to steal, but their people still do it, bro. Same thing with rape. Niggas know not to rape or do all this. It's heinous acts, but niggas still do it, bro. This is the reality we live in. So for you to sit there and be like, eh, yo, niggas know this, bro. This is this is a known fact. Niggas agree with you there, but you're losing us with all this other shit you're talking about. I'm telling you, that's that's what they think. They don't think. I'm telling you, bro. I can meet. I can go across the country right now, meet a man I've never ever seen in my life. And out of all the things we could disagree on, there's gonna be a few things we will agree on, and this will be one of them. Yeah. So like, what? Are, like, and I'm not, I can not, he can be older than me, younger than me, different religion, different race. It doesn't matter. Can grow up completely different than I do. There's gonna be a couple of things we agree on. And it's going to be one of them. The woman is so inebriated that she can't stand up. Boys need to understand that is well, no. Well, that's a different yeah. line. No, you're that's bringing in line. something else. Ava, I would like yeah. to know whether you accept that women, and particularly teenage girls and young women, sometimes give out pretty mixed signals. They give out mixed messages. They're yes. not even sure yes. what they want at any given time. I think we're victim blaming. What I the? Do. I think we're victim blaming. Men deal with it too. Women are not... Yo! What the fuck? Yo! Nah, this bitch is the, yo. She's lost it, bro. She's lost it, bro. What? Boy, 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 I'm or, telling or you, rape. bro. She's men are not the only. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, she bro. She can't accept it. She can't accept it. In bro. her world, girls and women could do no wrong, and the conversation cannot move forward as long as she can't come to reality. And what's crazy is the gray line that they're talking about. That is a much bigger problem than you than she probably realized. Is that there is mixed communication? Yes. Bad, just just all around bad communication. That's mixed fact. signals uncertainty between mm -hmm. both parties that leads into that conclusion that is occurring where somebody feels violated or they regret um, um, a, a moment that they had with somebody else. A lot of it is just miscommunication it's a fact. and uncertainty. It's a fact. That's, that's what a lot of times it is. And especially when they're undoing that, when they're at that age, bro, it's very easy to miscommunicate or not be able to express yourself because you may or may not have the experience or the proper words to articulate yourself to know what or what you want and what you don't want, bro. Come on, bro. And She's so for awesome. her not to just accept 
that that is going to occur, especially when you're talking about 16, 17, even 16 to 22 year olds, nigga. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, bro? She's on some other shit, bro. She's on a mission for to push some kind of agenda. Never falter. And everybody's 100 percent sure on the next move that they want to make. The same way I was thinking I was at 16, 17 was not the same way I'm thinking at 22, 23, bro. It's gonna be it's gonna reciprocate when I uh, like it's gonna repeat itself when I get older. Same way I was thinking at 22, 23 is not gonna be the same way I was thinking when I'm 30. Like, come on, bro. The all scenarios because the experience that I had when I was that age versus the experience that I have now is way fucking different, bro. But you know, that they have little to no know. experiences with. They 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 know exactly what move they want to make next. Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> no, they don't. They're fucking eighteen year olds. They're twenty two year olds, bro. Yeah. But like the funny thing is, is not many people think like her, and you know that because just regular human beings can easily dunk on her shitty philosophy because it doesn't track. None of it is practical. It's all in her fucking head. And she's so one-sided in this argument that she's the only person that can't see it. Everyone else in the room is like, really? <laughs> you don't want to, you don't even want to admit that a 14-year-old might give out a mixed signal? You think that they're like flawless in their Sick communication? Night. Come on, bro. Really? All right. <laughs> you can't expect nobody to be perfect. I think that's, that's the point she's missing. But beyond all of that, just having empathy for people that you don't share a lot in common with. I think it's also very important because she liked that tremendously and it shows in the way she was willing to speak about people. Our whole interaction, bro. About. Just have more empathy, even if you can't understand him. Like, at least the mom understood because she has a son. son the guy yeah. understood because he probably been through the shit. But she just didn't even try to understand. I think that's why like empathy went far. And you know, Pierce hit, hit a home run bringing her on the show because it's not too often you get to take that atrocious. You can just dissect the comedy. And and at the end of the day, a lot of people. I, I, think, think, I, think, I think. I think. Yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think, it's think it's entertainment. I think it's for us to have this conversation, conversation. like to see how extreme and what's really going on. Because she's definitely the embodiment of the fuckery. That's going on in the dating scene. Because it's not productive, and it nope. can't be productive as long bad. as you continue to have bad faith arguments. But and, and not only that, what she oh the overarching premise of all of this is that women like her and thought processes like that are the reason why, ironically enough, people like Jordan Peer Pearson and Andrew Tate and all of this manosphere. That's why a lot of this has picked up over the past two to three years, because in some instances, yes, the pendulum has swung too far. And you've isolated a group of men who mm -hmm. legitimately needed some guidance in mm -hmm. navigating throughout the world. And instead of actually understanding where they're coming from, even if you don't really care too much of trying to find a solution, at least acknowledging that they exist. But when you isolate them, then you just get a m much more extreme versions of people yep. that you don't want to exist in the first place. Nope. So you end up being a much bigger part of the problem than you probably realize. Idiot! I didn't yell at nothing. Yeah. Man, so. Bozo! Hey, let us know in the comment section down below what y'all think, man. Other yeah, man. I ain't really got too much to say about that shit, man. I said everything. That shit been for 30 minutes. Shush.